थैंक यू सो मच गाइड फॉर ज्वाइनिंग विद मी एंड स्टिल सपोर्टिंग मी एज एन यूट्यूबर आई एम वर्किंग जस्ट एज ए यूट्यूबर आई एम जस्ट वर्किंग जस्ट टू कैप्चर द फ्यू मोमेंट्स ऑफ माई लाइफ द मोमेंट्स विच आई एम लविंग द मोमेंट्स आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू कैप्चर आई एम कैप्चरिंग इट एंड आई एम शोइंग टू यू बिकॉज गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड तो गैस आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू टेल यू वी आर एक्चुअली आई वर्क एंड वॉट माई वर्क इज इन सिक्किम आई आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट आई एम वर्किंग ईयर फ्रॉम लास्ट थ्री ईयर्स सो आई विल लेट यू नो वॉट एक्चुअली आई वर्क ईयर तो स्टार्टिंग रिसेंटली आई एम वर्किंग इन आ प्रोजेक्ट कॉल एस एन रॉन्ग नीचू हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक प्रोजेक्ट फ्रॉम इन विच आई हैव जस्ट कम्प्लीटेड माई टू पॉइंट फाइव ईयर्स एज आई टोल्ड यू आई हैव कम्प्लीट थ्री ईयर्स सो आई हैव कम्प्लीटेड माई टू पॉइंट फाइव ईयर्स कम्प्लीटिंग द ओवरऑल प्रेशर्स ऑफ रिक्शन वर्क बेसिकली अवर हाइड्रो इलेक्ट्रिक प्रोजेक्ट वी आर यूजिंग अ पेल्टन टर्बाइन इन विच इट हैज़ अ वेरी हाई हेड एंड आ लो डिस्चार्ज सो Uh, we i've just completed all the uh, pen stroke correction work pen stroke correction work means uh, the tunnel through which we transfer our water uh, to the turbine so uh, i've just completed all the pressure shaft correction but we are uh, uh, in which we have a transition orifice uh, and uh, one or two uh, it around five vents and a vertical pressure shaft of around 318 meter and a bifurcation also so uh, after completing all those work recently i have joined uh, recently i came here at baras site which is located in namli sikkim so i i just want to let you know what actually i work here or and i just want to show you a brief description i just I, i just want to show you that what i work and what actually i do in this baras site so till time so guys as i told you Uh, I work at a barrage site. So this is the river from which we take water, and for generation of electricity, it is it is called as a Rongnichu. So I am a mechanical engineer working as a operation and maintenance engineer at Rongnichu Hydroelectric Project, namely Sikkim. So guys, this is the river named as Rongnichu, uh, through which we are uh, getting. water into our tar, uh, tunnel so the thing is that guys so uh, guys as i showed you the river rongnichu so i just want to explain you about uh, something a brief about uh, barrage barrage is nothing just a uh, like a police using a barricade at the highways just to divert vehicles from uh, one direction to another or just to check uh, the vehicles so like that only barrage is uh, nothing just to divert the water flow means uh, when there is no uh, when barrage was not here all the water of this river flows into uh, the same river and it goes and joined at tista river but uh, now recently as we have our uh, hydro project in this same river so what we do here is now we diverted the water of this rongnichu river into our turbine into our tunnel and the rest of the water according to the government norms how much water we have to just spill out uh, it depend upon the seasons that how much water we have to spill out every season and rest of the water we will use in our turbine and the rest of the water we will let uh, transfer it into our tunnel uh, it is known as an hrt head race explain tunnel. you in a brief see you are seeing here uh, this is the river and water is coming from this river and we are having four gates one uh, dbisg that is named as an dbisg through which our water enters into the tunnel let me explain you these are the trash racks four trash racks 1 2 3 4 and these are the four gates which is named as dbisg 1 dbisg 2 dbisg 3 and dbisg 4 dbisg is a uh, distilling basing inlet service gates and the required water depend upon how much generation is going on into our turbine from how much power we are generating from our turbine like we are generating 115 megawatt so the required water will be transfer through these gates into our tunnel and the rest of the water like it's a season of rainy like guys as i as i told you it's a rainy season 
सो स्टिल सेप्टेंबर थर्टी द वॉटर विच शुड बी स्पेल्ड आउट अकॉर्डिंग टू द गवर्नमेंट नॉम इज टेन क्योमेक्स सो लेट मी शो यू थ्रू विच गेट्स वी ट्रांसफर दैट वॉटर इन टू द रिवर एंड द रेस्ट ऑफ द वॉटर वी ट्रांसफर इन टू अवर डी बी आई एस जी इन टू अवर टनल थ्रू द डी बी आई एस जी इन टू अवर टनल सो लेट मी शो यू द गेट्स थ्रू विच वी स्पेल आउट द वॉटर विच गवर्नमेंट वॉन्ट अस टू स्पेल इन टू द रिवर सो दैट द वॉटर विल बी यूज आउट थ्रू द पीपल दो आर लिविंग बिसाइड दिस रिवर्स सो लेट मी शो यू दैट गेट बेसिकली बेसिकली यू कैन सी दैट देर आर थ्री गेट्स द फर्स्ट गेट विच आई एम शोइंग यू द फिंगर दिस गेट इज नोन एज एन अंडर स्लोइस यू एस एस जी अंडर स्लोइस सर्विस गेट्स दिस गेट इज एंड द सेकेंड वन विच आई एम शोइंग यू द सेंटर वन इट इज बी एस जी वन एंड इट्स फुल फॉर्म इज बेरा सर्विस गेट एंड द लास्ट वन थर्ड वन इट इज बी एस जी टू इट इज बरा सर्विस गेट टू सो वॉट एक्चुअली दिस गेट्स आर यूज फॉर अंडर स्लूज गेट इज यूज जस्ट टू स्पेल आउट द एक्सेस वॉटर विच विच इज विच वी डोंट वॉन्ट एंड द रेस्ट वाटर एज रिक्वायर्ड बाई द गवर्नमेंट नॉम्स विच वी हैव टू स्पेल आउट वी स्पेल आउट थ्रू दिस अंडर स्लूज गेट एंड द रेस्ट ऑफ द टू गेट्स डी बी एस जी वन एंड बी एस जी टू वी ऑपरेट दैम ओनली इन इन द कंडीशन वैन देयर इज अ फ्लड कंडीशन और एनी नेचुरल कलेमिटीज एवर हैपन देन वी यूज दो बी एस जी वन एंड बी एस जी टू गेट्स एंड फॉर रेस्ट ऑफ द टाइम वी ओनली यूज दिस अंडर स्लूज गेट टू स्पेल आउट द टेन क्यूमिक लाइक इन दिस सीजन टिल सेप्टेम्बर थर्टी वी हैव टू स्पेल आउट टेन क्यूमिक सो वी विल स्पेल आउट थ्रू अवर अंडर स्लूज गेट यू एस एस जी इट एस एन अंडर स्लूज सर्विस गेट लेट मी शो यू through which portals or inlet portals or inlet gates uh, water and to enter our tunnel so, so guys i am standing in front of the four inlet service uh, dbisg gate it is uh, desilting basin inlet service gate so let me show you all those four gates through which our water enters into our tunnel so let me show so you these one. are the four gates it's starting from this one two this is one chamber and through this three and four This is the as its chamber. name is DBISG Desilting Basin Inlet Service Gate. So what we do, guys, is we just uh, opens that inlet gates and water enter uh, into this chamber. As you can see, guys, uh, that back side these are the chambers which I am telling you about. So initially, guys, uh, water enters through this DBISG's gate, and it is stored or it is transfer into this chambers. what happened in this chamber is that it has a conical depth of both the gate this one one and two there is a conical depth of around 3 meters there is a na narrow border of 500 mm at the center bottom of all the of both these chambers so what happened guys is that said that uh, water is stored here water has a high volume so what happened water just stored here the silt settles down in the depth of the chamber as its name is desilting basin inlet service gate so these are the basins where the silt is settled and at the bottom portion there is a narrow way through which the silt is passed out or it is transferred from this chambers or basins outside of this barrage so that the silt won't be transferred or won't enters the chamber and won't affect our turbine so basically these are the four chambers just to store or just to just for settling of the silt in this chambers and after settling down down as i told you guys this chamber settles the silt and it is transferred through the narrow border which is connected through a silt flashing gates where silt flashing gates is something which flashes out the silt which is stored in the basins of uh, this dbisg basins so i will show you later that uh, where are our silt flashing gates and this is the second chamber through which we transfer or we uh, like it's a inlet gate through which we enters our water into our tunnel and as i showed you i will again show you Uh, the spillway gates basically these all three gates are called as an spillway gates 
Let me show you three again. gates, which is known as an spillway gates, which basically are used just to spill uh, spill out the excess water, which is uh, like which is uh, coming through the river or uh, which is stored in our barrage. So according to the flow, we just have to spill out the water. The first gate is an under fluid service gate, USSG under fluid service gate. Second and third. Uh, the uh, center one is the BISG one, BISG two is the second one. So basically, BISG one and two are are used only used when there is a condition of a natural calamities or flood. Then only we use. As I showed you guys how water enters, these were the gates. As I showed you, these were the DBISG one, two, three, and four through which water enters into our tunnel. And rest I will show you that how actually no, it's not through which. That uh, this water enters into our chambers, and from coming into the chamber, storing of water and settling down of silt. This happens in this our DBIG chambers basins. Now I will show you guys. After settling of the silt, what actually happened? That how water enters through our tunnel. So, as you sh as you see there, these were the waters which are stored in the DBIG chambers. These are the basins where the silt is water is stored and the silt is settled down and silt is passed through the tunnel uh, through our uh, yeah, silt flashing gates. And now I will show you how our water enters into our tunnel. Basically, guys. This one is the water which won't have any silt, and it is coming after water after the silt is settled into the DBIG channels. The water is transferred into a collection chamber. This is a collection chamber, guys. Here water is stored, and it is transferred into our HRT. HRT is head rest tunnel. It is of 12.5 kilometers long, through which a uh, water goat goes into our pen stock. As I told you, uh, we completed pressure shaft erection work of around 1.5 kilometer. Till till then, there is an HRT head raised tunnel through which, like this water, which is stored in the collection chamber, this water is entering into a HRT, a tunnel. Through a gate, there is a gate, guys. You can see there. There is a gate. It is known as power intake service gate. P I S G power. It is a power intake service gate. Through which, why it is known as a power intake service gate? Because this is the main gate through which our water is transferred into the tunnel. So, guys, are uh, when the turbine is in running condition, this power intake service gate is uh, is open hundred percent because. When the turbine is running, then we don't have to close it because the water is continuously entering into the tunnel. So, it is known as power intake service gate because it is taking water into the uh, tunnel. So, it is known as a power intake service gate. And uh, as I showed you, water came from a river, and according to the flow of the river, the machine. The turbine rotates according to the flow of the river. Like if a river is having a le less flow, then we have to just lower down the load of the turbine. And if a water is having, like uh, we have a fixed criteria that at 115 megawatt, how much water we required, just uh, for a smooth. If we have run, a less flow, then what we actually do? We just less down the load of the turbine. So. What my work is here is actually just when there is an appropriate flow of the river, then the machine will run at a full load of 115 megawatt. What actually the thing is that we are just managing these all the gates of the barrage, like it's DBIS one, two, three, four, a power intake gate and a chamber and under sluice gate. BSG, barrage service gates, we just maintain these gates in such a order that it won't influence 
the water which is going into the river and it won't influence the power which we are generating through the turbine so guys these gates are operated manually as, as well as automatic through our panels which we had in our control room we are not authorized to go into our control room we can't show you there but basically this is the thing which i do here at viraj we just have to check each and every seconds each and every minute that the flow won't rise up too much that we can't control the water which is coming through the river and we just have to ment and we just have to maintain the level of the water how much it is required for generation of an electricity around 115 megawatt so this is the brief discussion as i told you what i actually do here and we are operating it in a very smooth manner and as i loving this i am really loving this work so guys hope you will like what actually i do as a mechanical engineer here at the bottom of these basins of bisgs uh, sorry dbisgs so the silt which is stored in that narrow border is just spilled out into that river through this silt flushing gates these were the two uh, uh, yeah there were the silt flushing gates it's a silt flushing one gates and there is a silt flushing gate two and through these gates we just transfer that silt uh, into the river which uh, like it won't affect the turbine and the silt or... flushing gates uh, are fully open in the condition of rainy seasons so let me show you the silt flushing gates how actually uh, this water is uh, flowing through that uh, that silt flushing gates and the under sluice gate so let's there, see guys there the water which is coming out through that pipe it is the water which is spilling out through the silt flushing gates the gates which uh, where the silt is being stored and the silt is flown uh, into the river passed into the river this it is the silt flushing gates outlet and this is the under sluice gate uh, water is coming out through it and those two were the chambers through which our bisg water is coming out and rest water like uh, according to the government um, just we have to transfer 10 cubic water into the river was recently but recently we are having a high flow so we are uh, just transferring its around of 12 to 13 cubic uh, water into the river so you can see there guys the water is going the water is going into the river and the rest water we are utilizing it just to generate electricity so guys this is the brief description as as i told you what actually i do here at sikkim what where actually i work and what work actually i do so i am a mechanical engineer uh, working here just as an operation and maintenance engineer at vera site so hope you liked it and if uh, if someone want any more information from me then just you can comment it or uh, you can message me uh, i will uh, just pin down my facebook id uh, so you can message me on facebook and guys i hope you will love it and you will like it so thank you so much guys for joining with me and still supporting me as an youtuber i am working just uh, as a youtuber i am just working just to capture the few moments of my life the moments which i am loving the moments i just want to capture i am capturing it and i am showing to you because as i completed 3 years in sikkim i have been i have just watched few of the net as i have completed 3 years in sikkim so guys i love the beauty of sikkim that's why i am just started making videos here and i have starting a youtube channel and hope guys you will just like the videos which i am uploading on youtube and you will share it with other and subscribe my channel and thank you so much guys for joining with me with me and thank you